The taffy rope is holding strong. That's good news. Bad news, Nikki's taffy blanket isn't warm enough. Hi, K -K Kent. Hi, guys. What are you doing? A cool new invention, survival candy. Candy? Technically, it's taffy, but you can swing on it like a rope, wrap it around you to stay warm, and you can eat it. And it's made of all natural ingredients. Why didn't anyone tell me? I would have come earlier to help. Uh, we didn't think you'd want to help. It's because of your phobia of sticky things. Remember our last visit to the science museum? Yeah, well, maybe this would be different. What if I did part of the experiment? The not-so-sticky stuff part. I could be a taste tester. It's not very sweet. You have to be careful or the taffy will crystallize. Boiling sugar, or sucrose, breaks it into two parts, glucose and fructose. If you stir the mixture, the glucose and fructose come back together again to make crystals. And it's ruined! Ugh, sorry. We'll give you another chance, Kent. Make sure the temperature stays at 270 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm on it, Angie. Von Bolt, start testing the new and improved taffy rope. It will be my pleasure. Woohoo! You know, Kent, 270 degrees is the perfect cooking temperature for taffy. The heat boils away 95% of the water, and when the sugar syrup cools down, it's still flexible. Yuck, that stuff looks super sticky. But at 300 degrees, the heat boils away 99% of the water. You can't make taffy anymore because it hardens. Uh-oh. At 350 degrees, the sugar will burn. What did you do? This batch is ruined too. Angie, I just froze. The dial was so icky sticky. <laughs> Told you. That's why we didn't ask you to help in the first place. Yeah, it's your phobia, dude. <laughs> I feel as unimportant as you, little ant. <laughs> Funny how you use your antennae for smelling, tasting, and touching. Let's get you back home. Ants are such social insects. I bet you never feel left out. I can't believe I messed up their experiment twice. Yeah, I'm sad, all right. Huh? Can you understand what I'm saying? <gasps> the Kaflui! It's made you able to understand me. You want to be friends? Yeah! Come on, let's go outside. Okay, it's not like I'm needed here. Pretty good, huh? Ants to the rescue! What, what happened? Do you need more Kaflui sugar? The machine pulled the taffy for five extra minutes. It should be more flexible. 
We're gonna test the new Taffy's strength by hoisting you up in the awesome mobile, Von Volk. Buckle up. Click it and stick it. Look at my new ant friends. Oh no, I'm out of sugar. Ugh. Are you okay? Ants, show them what you can do. Turn back into a bike or stilts or... Ah, they have escaped from Ant Urbia. Not escaped. We communicated when I fed them Kaflui sugar. <laughs> Amazing! JD, Nikki, come see this! Dance? With you guys? No, I don't want to get sticky. Let's do something not so sticky. They really do like this taffy. Nobody wants a friend with phobias. I just end up letting people down. Hey, Kent, hurry back to the secret lab. The ants are somehow forcing JD, Angie, and Nikki to feed them taffy. Taffy. Ants need taffy. Ah, this is not going to end well. Ants need taffy. Ants need taffy. Ants need taffy. Ants need taffy. Whoa, I need help. Greetings, Kent. Please, Mr. Edison. Shh. Everyone is acting weird. What are the ants doing? Yes, most strange. You should visit the daring etymologist, Evelyn Cheeseman, who made eight solo trips to the South Pacific just to study bugs. Oh, good. My Goliath bird eater spider got out. Help me look. Are you Evelyn Cheeseman? Yes! Collector of over 70,000 different insect species for the British Natural History Museum. Aha! Nope. Just my Atlas beetle. Just how big is this bird eater spider? About the size of a dinner plate. Now, where could it be? Oh, there it is, on my dinner plate. Can you help me with an ant problem I'm having? Of course! With 10,000 known species, ants are fascinating. These ants are running circles around some aphids on this plant. Let's take a closer look. They are called farmer ants. They control these aphids just like farmers herd livestock. And here is why. The aphids produce a sugary substance that the ants eat. <laughs> Careful! Don't walk where the ants walk! The farmer ants spread chemicals from their feet that make the aphids sleepy. That way the aphids stay together like a herd. The aphids provide sweet food and the ants protect the aphids from predators like ladybugs. They help each other in a process scientists call symbiosis. In the secret lab, the ants are using their chemicals to make my friends farm taffy. Thank you. It's all so sticky! Oh, come on, Kent. Be brave. Don't be afraid of getting sticky.
guess after the taffy burnt up, the ants went back to normal. Kent, you overcame your sticky fears and saved us all! You know you're a great friend, right? I believe all of that troublesome Kaflui taffy has been destroyed. Hey! Anyone else have a sweet tooth? Don't go away! There's another episode coming up next. Subscribe to Cartoon Channel.